Hello. In this video I will recover iodine from bottle of more than 40 years old oxidized hydrogen iodide solution. Warning. Iodine is toxic in high doses and it may burn your skin. It will stain everything it touches. So recently I got my hands on many chemicals, most of them very old, and in case of hydrogen iodide solution, changed. Hydrogen iodide oxidizes in presence of oxygen from atmosphere and this bottle seemed to lack an airtight cap. So over a few decades elemental iodine has formed growing a large beautiful polycrystal. The cause of solution now being useless for experiments, I will at least recover all iodine from it. Liquid contents are all poured in a beaker trough sieve, which was unnecessary, because no crystals were broken off. Solution is put aside and bottle is broken to admire the beauty of crystal. Some glass shards stuck to the crystals so those are removed by old toothbrush. One photo session later the crystal is broken into smaller pieces and put in a bottle for storage. Now I will recover iodine remaining in the solution. To do that I need an oxidizer and an acid. I will use sodium dichromate solution and hydrochloric acid. I was lazy and did not measure anything, just added a bunch of both and later tested if no more iodine is crushing out of solution. I am not sure if that was necessary, but I added hydrochloric acid slowly. When everything is added, there are crystals in the bottom of flask. Because iodine is heavy, it is easy to decant them. After that is done. I add a lot of cold water to wash the crystals and decant them again. Here you can see a black paste in the bottom of the flask. I add more water and filter the crystals also washing out any left in the flask. If I had a vacuum filter it would be much easier. But since I don't, I put the iodine between two filters and paper physically push the water out. I then drop the iodine in ice cream box and crush them in smaller pieces. To suck the moisture out I add sodium hydroxide in small containers and close the box.
I left it stand for a while changing the sodium hydroxide every other day until the iodine is dry. I kept it in the box for way too long but it become dry in about 5 days and I changed sodium hydroxide 2 times. I recovered 57 grams of iodine and the large crystal itself was about 300 grams. So there you go. Thanks for watching and if you liked, do all of those magical things you can do for this channel. See you later with some iodine chemistry.